where this all started, if you want to go really far back, it probably was growing up watching Six Million Dollar Man. I was maybe eight or ten years old, you know, as a kid, and I, I was drawing all kinds of pictures of what a cyborg or a robot could be. Joe is in today. He is really excited about what we can do for him. I was in the military for eight years. Been to Afghanistan as a flight medic. Then went to Iraq. We got to do and see a lot of crazy stuff. Came back to Hawaii, was getting out, started a window cleaning business, and uh, that's when I fell off the roof. You just were getting shot at and mortared and nothing happened. So when you get out, you tend to be less mindful of your environment around you because you really want to feel safe. So you have to stop trying to notice every little detail and it gets you in trouble. The spoke right now is working on the prosthetic fairings, which are essentially a way of making an amputee. It's symmetric again. You're never done being sad. You lost a foot. But the symmetry was the thing that really got me, and that's what I gained back with this. But on the flip side, you don't want to have beige rubber pretending to be flesh and blood. It's a false stand-in. We use morphology. We do a three-dimensional scan of their external shape. They take a bunch of pictures and feed it into a computer. And the computer sorts it out and thinks and thinks and thinks and then generates a three-dimensional data representation of that three-dimensional object. And we scan the hardware and his sound side leg because we need both to recreate symmetry. And then we three-dimensionally mirror his surviving leg over his prosthetic hardware set. I really encourage him to come up with ideas and just send them to us in any way he can. Uh, that is a good one, actually. All printed in one piece. It came out of the machine just like this, never assembled. I tend to think that I get up out of bed every day and then go off to science fiction land. <laughs> and then I just, I live in sci-fi all day. Every day the FedEx truck arrives and we open up the box like, like a bunch of kids on Christmas day. And we hold these parts that had been digital only on our screens two days earlier. This part we designed as an experiment. We had a woman came to us, her neck muscles had atrophied and that meant her head fell forward. You really can't live much longer that way. It's a showstopper. And we looked at it and we thought, well, this is, this is an easy one. It's an external brace and all she has to do is wear a headband around her forehead and it holds her head up. It was a day and a half of work and we saved her life. You now have these tools that really are challenging you to do your best because they're now capable of so much more than ever before. Yeah, this one guy, John, his girlfriend came and looked at it and she said, wow, I like that leg better than that leg. And he kind of scratched his head and laughed and then he thought about it and he said, yeah, you know, nobody's ever said that before. My goal was to say, okay, let's make something that is just cool as hell, that really represents the person and captures them in whatever way they, they think captures them. And the best part is somebody's life has changed at the end of it. And every day for the rest of their life, they're gonna see things a little bit different.